Hi everybody, my name is Grace Kemp and I'd like to share with you some discrepancies or comparisons rather between what we call the rapture and the second coming of Christ. A lot of people believe there's only one. The second coming is, is a one-time thing. However, if that's the case, uh, they have some explaining to do because uh, there's different descriptions. The rapture, I believe, takes place seven years before the second coming. In other words, the second coming is in two phases. One is the private phase, when Christ returns to take his believer church, all believers, to heaven. And the second part, the second coming, is when he comes to take vengeance on those that know not God, to establish his kingdom on earth. Uh, and, he, and, and so here's some of the comparisons. And this is by no means all of them, but a few of them. Uh, Jesus comes for uh, his bride to the clouds at the rapture. At the second coming, he comes with his bride, the saints, the armies of heaven. He doesn't come for them, so apparently they're already with him. At the rapture, he comes with a shout and the sound of a trumpet. At the second coming, there's no shout recorded at all. In fact, he has a uh, double-edged sword, a sharp sword, proceeding out of his mouth, which means his spoken words of judgment. Uh, in the first coming, or the rapture, in the first part of the second coming, uh, the believers are caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, not so at the second coming, the part two, he comes with the armies of heaven and he sets foot on the Mount of Olives, which is east of Jerusalem, and the Mount of Olives splits north and south. Uh, the first time he appears to believers only, you can read uh, Hebrews 9.28 for that, at uh, the second part, every eye shall see him, both believers and unbelievers, every eye. Uh, I believe it talks about an explosion of, of light uh, at uh, when he comes, and uh, it must be 360 because everybody in the world will see that light and will see him coming. At the rapture, it is unexpected. He comes unexpectedly as a thief in the night. No one knows the day or the hour. However, the second coming is exactly 2,520 days after the rapture. We know the exact time of the tribulation. Uh, in the rapture, believers are removed and taken to heaven, and unbelievers are left behind to endure the time of the tribulation. At the, at the uh, second coming, Unbelievers are, are removed and sent to hell at the second coming, after the final judgment. And then believers on earth are left behind to enter the kingdom age, or we call it the millennium, the thousand year reign of Christ. Uh, there will be uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people converted during the tribulation that have not formerly heard the truth. Uh, they will then uh, be rescued and enter uh, the millennial reign of Christ. At the uh, rapture, uh, the Holy Spirit leaves when the believers leave. He is the restraining influence that keeps evil at certain levels. Um, at the uh, second part, the second coming of Christ, um, it, the Satan who has been uh, maximizing his time during the tribulation will be bound and, and put into the bottomless pit for a thousand years. Uh, the rapture will happen suddenly in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. So it's, when it happens, it's, it's quick. Uh, the second coming, however, is uh, less so. Christ, uh, on his way down, he rescues the, the, the believers uh, that are on the earth waiting for his coming. He sets foot at the Mount of Olives. He then proceeds to uh, the Valley of Megiddo for the Battle of Armageddon. He then goes to Basra and to, to the, that area uh, of Petra, Sela, and the different uh, parts in southern Jordan to rescue uh, the Jewish elect who have been hiding out for the past three and a half years. Um, the rapture is the blessed hope of all believers. The second coming is a message of hope to the believers of the tribulation, but it's a time of woe and despair to the ungodly sinners. They run to the mountains and say, fall on us, save us from the face of the Lamb, because the wrath of God will fall on them. Uh, the rapture is compared to the days of Noah and Lot in which believers are delivered before God's judgment falls. Uh, the second coming is compared to the horrors of those that left, that stayed, like the inhabitants of Sodom caught in that uh, 
uh, and that devastation of Sodom in that firefall uh, are those that, who didn't enter the ark and were uh, destroyed. Uh, all of these things indicate two separate events, um, the rapture and the second coming. Uh, we don't know when the rapture is going to happen, but judging from world events, we know it's coming soon. How can you be ready? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. This is the time. This is your time to accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you need to follow a prayer, go to my website, www.scriptureseries.com. God bless you.